Hello there, welcome back to IAS Tech. In this video, we are going to see how we can use OpenAI API along with Node.js. So let's begin. First of all, make sure you have created your account on open platform.openai.com. Once you have created your account and you are signed in, then simply open this documentation page. And before starting, let me quickly set up my basic structure for my Node.js project. So open the terminal and here type the command npm init dash y it will initialize the node.js with the package.json file now i will install a package npm install dot env so as we want to use the dot env file so that's why we need the dot env package so now we can create the dot env file in this file we will keep our secrets that we don't want to make public and also we should create a git ignore file and in this file we want to uh, ignore node modules and also we want to ignore dot env file because a dot env file should never be committed and pushed to the github or any online git repository so that's why we have to ignore it now if you look at there here you will not notice any dot env file that's when it is now being ignored being ignored anyways so now let's create our file index.js this is our main file and now i'm also going to install the express.js because it is very easy to use express.js to quickly set up my node.js server and easy to create endpoint so let's do that npm install press press enter with that it would be added in our dependencies array here all right so once that is done let's create our app so first let's import the express from express and also the body parser and now i have created the app by calling the express function and then i am passing the middleware in the app.use function okay now i have created my first endpoint and in that i will just simply send the hello world and let me start the server on the port 3000 and also you can use the environment variable here and if port is not defined in the environment variable then we can use a default port 3000 it can be anything and now let's load the environment variables from the env file to load that we will simply use the env library or package that we just installed okay with by calling this function you it will immediately load all of the environment variables from the env this let me create port variable with the 3000 port so now let's quickly test it if it is working so run the command node index.js and i got this error cannot use the import statement outside of a module so let's use the require instead of that and similarly for the body express as well and similarly for body parser as well and now let me start it again okay now let me use the same syntax for the dot env as well okay it is saying that port is already in use so let's change the port from the environment variable and start it again okay now server is running on this port <clears throat> now we need to create the api key from the openai platform for that go to the platform.openai.com and hover on this sidebar it will be expanded and here find the api keys section click on that and here you will see i have already created a lot of api keys you can also create so just click on the create new secret key and give that secret key a name and here you can specify the permissions that you want to assign to this key you can restrict it or you can give all of the permissions or you can give only read permissions so for now i will just keep it as it is by default to all and click on the create secret key all right now copy this secret key click on this button it would be copied on your clipboard now go back to the vs code and in the env file i will save this open ai key okay so once we have our api key we can start using it but before that let me tell you that if you have a new account or if uh, your billing details are not implemented yet your, uh, you have you did not set up the billing in your account yet then it will not work you must have to uh, enable you enable the billing in your account and you have to purchase some credits in advance then you will be able to use it so for that let me quickly show you go to the settings and okay if you click on the setting there you will see the billing section click on that and here you will find uh, the details right now i have the credit balance 8.28 dollars if uh, you see zero you have to add it so in order to add the credit balance click on that to credit balance and here you can select your preferred payment method and add the 
amount and that amount would be preloaded uh, as a prepaid amount in your account so once you do that you are ready to use so now after that is done we have to click on the documentation or we have to go to the api reference where we will find more specific details so open ai api reference okay so on this page you can see all of the instructions about how to use it in python or in node.js so if you want to use in the node.js you must have to install this dependency openai so let's copy that and go back to the vs code open a new terminal and here type the command npm install openai press enter that would be added in our package.json as a dependency all right here you will see several examples <coughs> if you want to see the documentation of a specific endpoint a specific resource then on the left sidebar you will see the section endpoints we have the resources for audio chat embeddings fine tuning files images models and moderations and also we have the resources for the assistants so this assistance is, is a bit advanced where you will be able to you will have more control like you will be able to pass the uh, files or you can create use the tools you can create your own custom tools you can create your functions that would, would be used in that assistant so we will just uh, use a simple example so under the endpoint section we have chat so let's try chat section and here we have a create chat completion the chat completion object and the chat completion chunk object let's create uh, let's click on the create chat completion section and here in this area on the right side we see the example how to use it and here on the left side we see the request body so basically request body is the list of the parameters that you can pass to the request when you're sending the http request to your uh, endpoint okay here you will see all of the possible uh, properties that you can send along with the request body and their descriptions and on the right side uh, we have uh, example request code so right now it is showing you the curl command uh, you can switch to a different approach you can switch to the python it will give you the python code to use or if you want to get the node.js code then just click on the node.js okay so this is the simplest way to use it so let's copy it and by the way we did not and need to have any express.js server i just created that as an extra step but you can just paste it in your main index.js file it will still work okay because it has created the main function and then called that main function immediately when that file would be executed so let me just import the open ai and let's go back to the vs code in the index.js on the top i will import and i would like to use different import statement that is required and here i will add the open ai okay and in that function we would like to pass an object by the way you can also open this npm package open ai and you can read this documentation as well they also provided a detailed information for you to read so here you can find out how to use it so here when you call this open ai you have to pass an object and within that object you must have to pass the op api key so let's copy that and pass that here and make sure that this environment variable is same so this is different so let me copy it or maybe let me use this one in the dot env as well and normally you don't need to add the scale bracket so it will work without that as well and let me restart my server okay now let's go back to the api reference and i will copy paste all of this code and let me paste it here and i will use the main function inside my endpoint and let me return this response from the main function okay so let me quickly go through this function so in this function i am using the chat property from the open ai client and we have the completions uh, we have the completions then we have a create function that i'm calling and i'm passing an object which are the options and in that object we are passing an array of messages here you can have multiple messages in this array so you should have at least one message in that array and you will give it the role system and the content you can put anything in this content for now mostly we use you are you are a helpful assistant and then give the model that you want to use uh, with this so once that is done let's take that response from the main function and we will send that response back to the quest client and now we need to restart the server 
I got an error. It is saying that the open AI key environment variable is missing or empty. The reason is that I am loading the .env after using the environment variable. But we should load the environment before everything else. So let me add it on the top. Now we should not face any error. Let's restart the server. Okay, now it is working. So if you open this URL in your browser, then you should see the response. Uh, by the way, as we have updated the port so the console message should also be updated so let me make this variable dynamic so let port is equal to this and we will simply use this port here and i will reuse that same variable in the string as well okay let's restart the server once again and now this is the port that we want to test and right now we got the empty array by the way as uh, this is uh, returning the promise because of the async so we must have to add async here and we need to use await here so that was one thing that we should do and now let's reload the page and this time i got the proper response how can i assess, assess to you today and you can give it another message so this message first message was for the system second message can be from the user so here in the role section you can specify user and in the content you can add your question you can ask it uh, how to write an seo friendly blog article tell me in concise and short okay save it now let's restart the server and let's reload it okay you can see that we got the response back that is saying to write an seo friendly blog article do thorough keyword research and use relevant keywords in the title heading and throughout the content etc so this is how you are able to use the open api in your node.js you can try any other resources that you can see here we have audio we have the embeddings we have fine tuning we have the models you can get the list of the models by using this resource we have a lot of options so you can try them okay so i hope that this video provided provided some value so if that's the case then please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos and also please like and share this video and if you have any thoughts or feedback or if you want to ask some uh, if you have any questions then please leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching see you next time